We all live in an incredibly fragile, complex, and challenging world. We face major global issues, inequality, violent protests, conflicts and war, climate change, and environmental degradation. One only has to look at the newspapers to see that recent headlines repeatedly speak to humanity's predicament. And while we are increasingly confronted by significant problems in Canada and globally, these problems are not being resolved by governments. Instead, there seems to be a growing sense of helplessness around the world that things are not working as they should. Governments seem overwhelmed and stumbling to get anything done, often crippled by internecine political infighting and the seemingly complex issues of the day. Worse, more and more people are blaming others for their problems. The result has been more division between citizens and nation states alike. Brexit and the rise of polarizing figures such as US President Donald Trump reflect this discord and confusion, fanning the flames of disunity. But the blame must stop. Blame prolongs existing problems and breeds new ones. While misguided leaders flail about in the ever-growing quagmires enveloping their nations, they know not what to do, only whom to blame and what sounds good to say. Around the world and here in Canada too, people need to start blaming something else rather than someone else for their mounting problems that they face. That something is the poorly designed structures of our government. Fortunately, repairing the institutions that unite us and reflect our values is not a monumental task. In fact, Canada can shine as a beacon for all democracies and international institutions plagued by the same problems. It is time for Canadians to lead by example. It is time for Canada to invoke a new narrative, perhaps even a new slogan. It is time we Canadians punched above our weight. It is time we showed ourselves and other democracies around the world how to be great again. We need to show ourselves and the world that things can and will be a lot better. It is time to stop playing the blame game and get to work. It is time to mend the flag to heal the world.